वेलकम बैक ओके ऑल ऑफ ऑल ऑफ यू ओके इन द लास्ट वीडियो आई टॉक्ड अबाउट द ऑप्शंस इन द डेटा बेस इन द एस क्यू एल सर्वर आई शोड इट एक्चुअली हाउ टू यूज दैट ऑप्शन फ्रॉम द एस क्यू एल सर्वर मैनेजमेंट स्टूडियो नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ दोज ऑप्शन टू बी यूज फ्रॉम द एस क्यू एल नाउ वाई डू आई वॉन्ट टू यूज इट एस फॉर द एस क्यू एल ओके एवरी नाउ एंड देन यू के नॉट गो टू द being a database administrator or whatever you are better a programmer or developer or production whatever you are so you cannot go every time to the sql server management studio to look into the options wherever you have to remember all these sqls you should know sql otherwise you are out of job we will usually like to go through the sql server in the initial stage is good to go through the sql server management studio and actually set the options and well and good not a, not a problem but being a professional you should always know the sql let's go and see what the sql is we will start with the same thing again suppose if you want to bring the database in the single user mode okay. how do you do it with the sql firstly remember single user mode cannot be granted if other users are connected to the database until and unless you use a rollback loss which is included in your sql all other transaction except the one changing this option are broken what does it add mean means that only the person who is actually using that option will be great remain connected and other all the users will get disconnected what happens to the transaction the transactions are rolled back whatever your work you are doing other users are doing that is rolled back okay single user was often needed to fix the database okay, using the dbcc check db command or changing the database to read only mode and back again suppose if you wanted to change the database to the read only mode you have to put it in the single user mode Okay, there are many instances where you will have to actually put the database into the single user mode. We will come to it later, one by one. Then there is a restricted mode access to the database to the DB owner, where the DB owner, DB creator, and system admin role only these people are actually allowed to the actually access the database. That is restricted user mode. Okay, then multi-user mode, where all the users who have a proper permissions to get connected to the data to the database. or actually allowed to log into the database now let's actually use the sql command to alter the database to the single user mode i'll just use the command and show it to you i'm not going to waste your time just actually typing the command let's see okay there we are this is our first command and i'm going to execute it now i have altered i have used the alter database props set single user mode go and it should actually put my database into the single user mode the query says that the database has been actually there the command has been success has been completed successfully which means that the database is in a single user mode okay now as you can see here the props database is in the single user mode okay i have brought the database into the single user mode now suppose if i wanted to take this database to the restricted user mode or a multi user mode i can always do it by typing another command suppose if i want to make, take it back to the multiple user mode okay i can do it with just a little bit change in the sql rest is the same only say set, set multi user the word changes one word changes and you execute a sql and there we are into the multi user mode back again Okay, click on the pubs data. Right, click on the pubs data and refresh it, and it, the, you will show that the single user mode has gone. Now, suppose if you want to check it with the restricted mode, change it to the restricted mode. One word change, and you get it to the restricted mode. Okay, this is this is not. I'm going to. No, I'm not going to execute this SQL as I have shown the that the how the database actually gets the more tier change. This will also work. Okay, now let's go to the some other options. I'm showing you the SQL because you should know what the word is. Okay, restricted user, how the it is being used. Now let's go to the other other commands. Okay. Suppose if you wanted to set the database in the single user mode. and uh, and roll back the incomplete transaction after 30 second okay what does it that mean means all the all the connections that have are been actually connected 
actually we will be given 30 seconds and all that users except the person who is issuing the command the uh, transaction would be rolled back but after 30 seconds okay here is a command hold on this is how actually this is the command that allows you to get to the single user mode with a rollback after 30 seconds okay what happens is that the, all the users would be get disconnected but after 30 seconds and all the transaction would be rolled back now let's see the what the auto close auto close is now when the auto close is enabled the database is closed and shut down when the lost user connection exists and all the processes are complete okay okay this is not a good option for the organization the database should not be shut down unless you want to do a very important changes to the database because the when you start up the database and when you actually shut down the database again you have to restart the database which means that the uh, time is the time it takes is very long okay to start up the database and is not a usually a good option to do it not should it should not be done on the production server now let's go to the other option and see how the thing works now here is the sql this sql actually auto the database in this sql i you can see that it can that the auto database pub set auto close on location is being used okay this is how you use the sql for the auto close on and the auto close on actually gets activated you can set the auto close off if you want to actually do not if you do not want to use the auto close okay you can select it to the off now let's go to the different option okay here are two other options that you can use with the auto database with the single user okay setting the single user and if you want to do changes okay, that is rollback immediate means it doesn't have to wait and then there is single user with no wait if any users are connected they will all get disconnected now from now on we will let's discuss some other options that is auto create statistics okay what is auto create statistics this option actually update the statistics already created for your table it is important to keep the statistics up to date especially if your tables have a frequent data insert update or delete it improves the performance of the query which means actually by default it is actually turned on okay you don't have to turn it off anyway but this sql to turn it off and turn it off is like that show it to you Okay, this is the SQL. Okay, use master go, alter database pubs go, set auto update as statistics off and go. That is how you do it. On, keep it on, do not keep it off. It is not actually advisable to keep it off. Okay. Now let's talk about the auto shrink. That is another option in the database. When the auto shrink is enabled, SQL server shrinks the data and the log file automatically shrinking will occur when more than 25 percent of the file has unused space the database is then shrunk by 25 percent however it will never decrease the original size of the database what does it that mean i mean suppose if you created the initial size of the database for 500 mb it will never be never able be able to decrease the from the original size of the database even if it if there is a space there okay okay this option can be used but it will slow down your performance of the server now we will let's discuss some other option that is close cursor close on commit enable okay okay what happens is if you enable this option okay what happens is once you close the cursor okay the transaction will get committed the default is off what does that mean is that the cursor once closed still the transaction once even though the cursor is closed okay still the transaction is not committed what means that you can actually requery that whole cursor 
okay the only disad the disadvantage is that actually it create it may lock the tables and it may actually hinder the other users from accessing the same rows or the tables where the cursor has a lock on it okay remember only when you say commit or roll back the, the sql server will release the lock until and unless you don't say a commit and roll back the sql server will not release the lock okay okay here are the sql target sql to actually set the cursor close on commit on and off say it says use master go alter database pubs set cursor close on commit on go or you can use off okay now there is another option that tells that the cursor default is local or global by the by default actually the cursor is global what it means is that whenever you don't specify whether the cursor is local or global whatever is the default will be used suppose the cursor is global the global would be used automatically if you actually set the default to local then the local would be used the cursor would be as local now the difference between two of them is that the local when you can your only your code would be able to access the cursor while if it is a global any connection would be able to access the cursor now only the only difference is that you can change it to the word to the global and that's it okay this is the how you actually set your database recovery mode use pub master go alter database pub set recovery mode to full go and bulk lock to uh, if you are looking for the explanation please refer to my video that is previous to that actually where i have actually explained it in the when i am use i have shown it with the sql server management studio i explained what is the full and what is the bulk locked okay just go and see that video that's it i will stop here